sunshiny afternoon here in Tampa. Hi, everybody. I'm Frank Lieber along with Roy Jefferson. Going to be a case of youth against experience. And what better way to personify that than by looking at the two quarterbacks? That's certainly right, Frank. You've got uh, Randy Hedberg from uh, Minot State in North Dakota, who's 22 years old. He's got a rifle arm, and he's a scrambler. And uh, then on the other side, you got that old war horse, Billy Kilmer, 38 years old, 16 years different. But he does it week in and week out, just like he did last week against the St. Louis Cardinals when he threw for three touchdowns. And it looks like it just might be a great football game out here today. We'd like to welcome Mr. Jefferson to our CBS broadcast crew for the first time. And I understand you've done some welcoming of your own at your house over the weekend. That's right. My wife, Candy, presented me with a six pound, 15 ounce baby boy uh, just yesterday. Isn't that far out? I've got a cigar. Oh, yeah. Me. That's just what I need. Just think about 35 years and you'll be old enough to play for George. Hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Wide receiver, no doubt. Things are happening down on the field. Let's go down there right now. And we're ready to kick it off as you look at the uh, referee crew headed by Cal Lepore. Redskins won the toss of the coin and they have elected to receive quite naturally. And Dave Green number four. Will be kicking off with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers first meeting ever between these two clubs Eddie Brown number 25 is the deep man in single safety. At Bob Brunet over on the far side, and here we go. Some 60,000 fans in attendance. Kick is short. Brown moving up to the 15, 20, 25, across the 30-yard line to the 31. And the Redskins will put it in play from there. You know, Eddie Brown's been playing in place of. Uh... Here's Billy Kilmer, and uh, here's a play they were working on during warm-ups. Watch it closely here, Roy. Look, no ball. I think that might be hard to get to. <laughs> I know a quarterback that was uh, cut for that, doing that too many times. First and ten. Kilmer at the throttle of the Washington Redskins. From there, 32-yard line, it is Mike Thomas. Behind the line of scrimmage, he'll be pinned for a loss. The Boy, officials that's... mark it at the 29, so it'll be a loss of two, make it second and 12. And Leroy Selman, number 63, the number one pick in the league, leading the charge. Look at that. That's what uh, McKay said. He said that nobody in this league he feels can block uh, Leroy Salmon. And if they don't get a hold of that kid soon, it's going to be a long day. As the Redskins backfield as they open up. And the Washington receivers. And no changes in that offensive line. Thomas squirting through this time, getting out to the 34 yard line. He got the two he lost in the previous play, made a couple of more. That'll set up third down and eight for the Redskins at their 34 yard line. It was just great play by the linebackers there. They play that three uh, that three man line with those four linebackers and that's a strong point of Tampa's team that defense and especially in that linebacker crew and they uh, Thomas popped through that clear. No score early in the game. I tell you, Tampa, Tampa is playing football. Look at this pass rush. Both defensive ends are in there, and a linebacker also. I tell you, the Redskins, if they don't wake up, they're going to have a long day today. Council Rudolph, number 78, a one-time St. Louis Cardinal, leading the charge. The penalty offside against the Redskins decline. That sets up the punting situation. And Mike Bragg is in to do the kicking. Isaac Hagens is one of the deep men for the Buccaneers. And Danny Reese is the other. Frank, this is a trend of uh, teams coming in here overconfident with a team like this. This is the kind of thing that can start them off in a, in a victorious way. Snap a little bit low from Fritz, but he gets it away in good order. Short punt, bouncing at the 50 and picked up at the 40 by Reese. And Tampa will come up with excellent field position at its own 46-yard line as its offense goes to the attack for the first time. And that's where the Buccaneers have had their problems this year offensively. They have not scored an offensive touchdown through their first three games. And you can tell from what you're hearing in the background that this crowd is a great asset to the young Buccaneers as they seek their first victory ever in the NFL. The Tampa Bay backfield. Ricky Bell is out with a shoulder injury. He will not play today. He's on the inactive list. Randy Hedberg, number 14. 
is the Tampa Bay quarterback. They've got Owens in motion. Hedberg back to throw in the first play from scrimmage, and the pass is short. That was Dennis Johnson getting in there. And, of course, Dennis Johnson had a great game last week against St. Louis having two sacks. And that was the only thing that prevented them from gaining 10, 15 yards on that play. Ed Williams, number 43, the running back, was the intended receiver. It'll be second and 10 for the Buccaneers. Tampa doesn't look like an 0-17 team, Frank. Well, they play excellent defense, but they have had all kinds of problems moving the football. Their only touchdown this year was scored last week against Dallas by the defense. They picked up a fumble and ran it in 47 yards. Hedberg, the rookie, slips the ball to Anthony Davis, the former Southern Cal star, squirts to the left side, gets out to the 48 for a pickup of three on the play. It'll be third down seven. John McKay sends in his wide receivers, alternating plays from the bench. And John McKay Jr. is one of those coming in to bring the play in. Third down seven for the Bucks. Here's the Redskins defense. You got Ron McDowell at left end. There's one change there. Butts is not starting. He's got a bad ankle, and Bill Brundage is in there. Butts, as a matter of fact, was placed on the inactive list prior to the game. Third and seven, Hedberg flushed out of the pocket and slips and falls back at the 32-yard line. Number 77, Bill Brundage, who, uh, of course, replaced uh, Butts today, came in on that. Uh, they had a trick on. Looked like uh, Washington figured they're going to have to do a lot of tricks on that line and a lot of blitzing to get to the quarterback. If he hadn't slipped down, though, it might have been a different story right there. Dave Green, number three punter in the NFC, averaging 42.6 as the Bucks are faced with a fourth and 22. Eddie Brown, one of the premier punt returners in all of football, is back. Nice high punt. Brown at the 30-yard line. Watch 45. out. Watch right out the wall. 45, 50, and run out of bounds at the 47-yard line of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So Eddie Brown up to his old tricks once again as the Redskins form the wall perfectly and he came up with an excellent punt return. Tampa Bay players shaken up on the return. We'll be back in just a moment. Just as soon as me and my eight friends here finish up and get this wagon home. Inside this new Firestone radial tire is an improved steel cord with five million miles of developmental testing. Where once we used five strands, we now use ten strands of steel. Seven, around two, wrapped by one. A cord construction so important, Firestone named the tire for it. Seven, two, one. The new steel belted radial 721. Now, from Firestone. Johnny Cash is your host for the 11th Annual Country Music Awards, live from the Grand Ole Opry, tomorrow night at 9.30, 8.30 Central and Mountain. Randy Johnson was the injured player for the Bucks, but he moved off the field under his own power, so he's all right. Here's the Tampa Bay defensive line. They play that three-man front. That's right, and uh, they've got three good men up there on that front line with Leroy Selman, Pears, and uh, Council Rudolph. Of course, they picked up from St. Louis. First and 10, Redskins from the Tampa Bay 47. Charlie Taylor at the 35 down to the 32-yard line. Taylor, who has been used sparingly so far this year at the age of 34. Every time he catches one, it's a new NFL record. That's right. And every, every year, every time Charlie catches a pass, it's a, it's a record. And he's been great on those quick posts. And that's what that was there. Just a quick post over the middle. And Billy throws that ball better than uh, that pass there, almost as good as any quarterback in the league. You've seen a few of those in your day? Oh, sure, definitely. I've seen a few uh, safety men in my day off of that pattern also. Danny Bugs comes in replacing Taylor, who's going to need a bit of re equipment repair. His shoulder pad looked like it tore loose. First down at the 32-yard line. Riggins going outside. And running over a safety man at the 26-yard line, Mike Washington came up, finally made the stop on him. But a pickup of six in the play, it'll be second down four. And here comes Taylor back into the lineup. 
They're really intent on trying to run that left side where Leroy Selman, of course, who's their best defensive lineman, is sitting right out there. And uh, I guess there's something uh, they know that we don't know because Leroy Selman is supposed to be the best that's come in this league for many a year. Second down. Redskins need four for the first down. Ball is at the Tampa Bay 26. Thomas, nothing. And again, it was Selman, number 63, the former All-American from Oklahoma, who dropped him for no game. Tampa Bay defense is a tough club. You know, they played Minnesota down here and held them to uh, nine points. That's right. Dallas to 23. When you hold the Dallas club, uh, the 23 points. And I think uh, defensively, they didn't have that many points scored. And the offense actually gave up uh, a couple of touchdowns in that game. Also played well against Philadelphia. Third down, four. Thomas. Great again, football. nothing. Dave Kerr, number 76, the middle guard in that three-man front, the nose guard, in effect, made the stop. He was a Baltimore Colt reject, and the Redskins will be forced to the field goal attempt here. I tell you, right at the point of attack, they look like they're getting right clear through there, but as soon as that back pops through, somebody is right there every time. Mosley will attempt a 44-yard field goal. There has been only one field goal over 50 yards kicked in the NFL this year. And it was Mark Mosley who did it. He has a 51-yarder to his credit. It is plenty long, and it is good. Great kick. So Mosley gets his fourth field goal of the year in six attempts. And the Redskins are on the scoreboard first with 10 minutes and 10 seconds remaining in the opening period of play at Tampa Bay Stadium in Tampa, Florida. Introducing the Ford in your future, the new Ford Fairmont. A new car designed for today and the years ahead. At 33 miles per gallon highway, 23 city, Fairmont has the highest mileage ratings in its class. Yet it has 90% of the head, leg, and shoulder room of most large cars. And base sticker prices for the Fairmont line start at just $35.89. Fairmont, roomy but with mileage like a small car. And the lowest sticker price in its class. Test drive Fairmont. The newest, better idea from Ford. Dawn Launch, Sea of Japan. The Navy. See a recruiter or call toll free. It's not just a job, it's an adventure. This telecast is presented by authority of the NFL. It's intended for the private use of our audience and any rebroadcast or other use of this telecast without the express written consent of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the National Football League is prohibited. The kick is fumbled by Hagens back at the 5. He's to the 10 and tripped up at the 15-yard line. Like Bob Brunet, number 26, was down there quickly for the Redskins, so it'll be first and 10. You and I were talking about how much time George Allen spends with those specialty teams. It's unreal, isn't it? That's right. Every day they, uh, in meetings, they have three meetings a day, plus they practice on the field three different times and at least a half hour at each stint. And it pays off for them. And I learned while I played with uh, George Allen, it's a special team. It's one-third of the game, definitely. First and ten for the Buccaneers at their 15-yard line. They trail by a score of 3 0. Anthony Davis and Ed Williams are the setbacks. Here's Davis. Maybe a yard. Trying to run up the middle. Buccaneers really hard hit by injuries. Offensively, they've lost. Well, they've, their two tight ends are out. So they're starting a rookie free agent at tight end. And of course, they lost two quarterbacks before the regular season got underway. They had Mike Marilla. And they lost Huff. And Huff is just now coming back. So they're hurting there. And most of the running backs are beat up, particularly Ricky Bell, their number one draft choice, and he is out of this game. Second and eight from the 17. Williams, four to the 20-yard line. That'll set a third down and five. Yeah, Williams is starting place of uh, the other fullback behind uh, Bell, DuBose. And uh, he looked good in their last game that they played. 
Dallas uh, is losing 3 0 uh, to St. Louis at the present time in the first quarter on a 32 yard field goal by Jim Bakken. I imagine Redskins fans will uh, be interested in that particular score all afternoon, and we'll keep we'll keep pace for you. I have all the other scores for you as well as we go along, so be sure and stay tuned. Third down, five, Tampa. Here's Hedberg, still looking for his first completion. Penalty marker down as the pass intended for Davis incomplete at the 28-yard line. A.D. They called him in Southern Cal, man who once. Uh, Scored six touchdowns in a single game for John McKay. Got a holding call upcoming against Tampa Bay. He's a great athlete. And, uh, he, owns, he has a lot of money, too. Purchasing his own contract from uh, Canadian League to get down here and play. Holding, 70, off, 75, sports out. Darrell Carlton, the offensive tackle of the Buccaneers. Flag down for holding. Declined by the Redskins. That sets up fourth down. Green to punt and Eddie Brown who did an excellent job on the first punt by the Buccaneers setting uh, Washington in position for that field goal is deep. Beautiful kick again. Brown back to his 33, 35, 40. Into the 43 yard line. Coming up next weekend on the CBS Sports Spectacular, a trio of events I think you're going to enjoy. The Jockey Club Gold Cup. That's live coverage of that big event from Belmont Park, the Chunichi Cup. That is the uh, highly acclaimed competition featuring uh, Nadia Komenich of Romania and Nelly Kim of the Soviet Union, a gymnastics event. And then the part, uh, I guess it'll be three of the world's strongest men competition. All coming up next weekend on the CBS Sports Spectacular. First and 10, Redskins at their 42-yard line. Penalty markers go down as Kilmer hands off to Riggins. Might have been Dave Pear. Number 76 of Tampa who jumped. I think that was Frank Grant. He jumped off sides out there. I don't know what happened inside, but outside here, Frank Grant jumped before the ball. And this is the kind of thing that George Allen hates, you know, and this is the kind of thing that he feels is a, is a detriment to their team. Washington, being as conservative as they are, cannot stand mistakes. Now, yeah, let's see. Might have been offsetting penalty. See if the ball goes anywhere in this case. Maybe Cal will give us a word. Talking it over there with Kilmer. Here he comes. Tell us about it. I think after that offense, first series. Encroachment, defense, offset, first down. So we're right back where we started. First down 10 with the ball at the 42 yard line. I didn't even, I wasn't looking at the monitor. Miami and Baltimore. Really having a track meet. Baltimore leading Miami 31 to 28 with eight minutes left to play. Here's Riggins. Caught behind the line by Council Rudolph. Great you don't think that Tampa Bay defense is tough. Look that at it is again. just a great defensive play. Uh, Council Rudolph, nobody even touched him. George Stark probably missed him. He was on, a, on an inside charge, and George Stark knew he had to hook him and took that step out, and Council just blew inside and, and knocked uh, Riggins for that loss. That may be great defensive football, but it's also a mistake offensively. Or got a blow in there that free. Council Rudolph, a reject of the St. Louis Cardinals, who came to uh, Tampa. He's one of Abe Gibron's prime reclamation projects. Second down, 14. Redskins from there, 39. Thomas. 45 50 and Thomas and Tampa Bay territory will be close for a first down at the 48 yard line of the Bucks. There's a guy get you the yardage. Now look at that. They popped through. He's popped through several times. This is the first time he's been able to continue on. It was a very good block by Ron Saul in there. And it was just a matter of getting those linebackers. If they can get to the linebackers, they can be successful running against this team. But if you don't get those linebackers, buddy. They will kill you all day long in that three-man uh, three line. Third down, less than a yard for the first down for the Redskins. At the Tampa Bay 48, they've got Jerry Smith in there as a second tight end. Calvin Hill, who checked into the ball game for that particular play. 
On the carry over the right side, and it may be close enough for measurement. It looks close. I think they got that first down. It was a great effort by Calvin Hill. He's playing uh, much better football this year, and I think he's accustomed to the Washington system now. I think Calvin's particularly happy that he isn't playing more. I saw him in the hotel today, and he had kind of his long face on. He wants to play more, but with Riggins and Thomas ahead of him, what are you going to do? That's right, and uh, he's a tailback. He won't play in, uh, in Riggins' spot, and he's got to play where Mike is. And George Allen is a, is a, tail, a quick tailback-oriented uh, coach, and he's not going to... Uh, I don't think he's going to make that move right now. Redskins picked up the first down at the 48-yard line. You know, Frank, but one thing is happening. They're playing Calvin more. They're shuttling backs in and out more than he has in the past. He used to, when Larry Brown was there, just run, run, run them until they drop. Charlie Taylor is wide to the left side, and Frank Grant is in the slot inside of Taylor. Kilmer, good protection. Got Grant at the 32-yard line. And that is good for another Washington first down. You know, that's a, that's a play called a wide stop. This is, a, this is a Y stop uh, that they call it from this slot formation. And Frank goes down about 12 yards to just curl in. Well, what he did there, the linebackers were sitting right in front of him. So he just slid inside, and Billy just uh, kept watching him and caught him coming across the middle there. First and 10 for the Redskins at the Tampa Bay 32. This drive started at the 42-yard line. Redskins open it up a little bit with just one running back. Riggins, Kilmer, let's fly, fly and Fugit at the 10-yard line. Gene Fugit is down to the five at his first and goal to go. Made it look easy. I knew Fugit. that uh, after uh, running, running, not being able to run the ball, I thought Billy may go to the air more, and if he's throwing the ball like this all day, Tampa could be in trouble. That was a great catch by Gene Fugit. All it was is uh, splitting the zone there. They get into that Sam zone defense, and there's nobody uh, right over the middle. You get scored on the same pass against St. Louis just last week. Officials mark it at the six. It is first down, goal to go. Kilmer has hit all three of his pass attempts for a total of 51 yards. And when he is hot, look out. Going to try to run it from here. Thomas, touchdown. Beautiful cut. Absolutely beautiful cut that... Uh, Mike made there to get in there. That was slated to go outside, but well, look at it again here, and he does make a great cut on this. He you almost can tell. went through untouched, really. Tim Stokes is trying to hook Selman. He can't hook him, and Mike just makes a great cut back up inside against the grain to score that touchdown. A couple of years ago, this guy gained 919 yards on the ground. He was rookie of the year. Last year became the second man in Redskin history, in addition to Larry Brown, to go over a thousand. At 1,101 yards rushing, and he's off to a fairly decent start this year. Extra point try is good by Mosley. And the Redskins have jumped out to a 10-0 lead with five minutes and 28 seconds left to play in the opening period. And everybody's got to remember that uh, Mike Thomas didn't have any training camp whatsoever. This is, he's still in training camp. I word that Houston's leading Pittsburgh 17-10. And Terry Bradshaw has been taken to the hospital in Houston to check on an injury to his ribs. And some interesting results around the league. And as we said, we will be passing those along to you throughout the course of the afternoon. Oakland beat Cleveland today, 26 to 10. The Jets beat Buffalo, 24-19. Philadelphia over the Giants, 28 to 10. And New England shut out Seattle, 31 to nothing. Tampa Bay gets uh, Seattle next week, and that what they're calling expansion bowl two <laughs> yes and I think Tampa is really looking forward to it this year hoping that they can uh, maybe come up with uh, their number two victory uh, of course looking forward to, to beating Washington today well they thought maybe they could sneak up on the Redskins since Washington's coming off a tough game and might be looking ahead to Dallas next week but the Redskins starting off looking pretty darn good that's Reese 20 20 Bye. 30, gone look out 40 and caught at the 46-yard line. Danny Reese. That was a great run by. Larry Jones making the stop with an assist from the kicker. Watch him here. And this is something that uh, 
this is where Tampa could do some uh, damage to the, the Redskins. They've got a lot of speed on their team, and this is where they've got to score. Their offense isn't moving the ball, and they're going to have to score on defense or score on the special team. Race is one of seven former Southern Cal players on this Tampa Bay roster. Anthony Davis to about the line of scrimmage. Certainly no more than that. You know, uh, and Pat the Redskins Fisher. wrap him up. I think Pat Fisher is hurting worse than they thought he was. Uh, Gerard Williams is in there uh, at the left cornerback position right now. And as you said earlier, Frank, uh, Butts was put on the uh, inactive list today because of a bad ankle. And of course, Bill Brundage is starting at the uh, left defensive tackle for him. Second down, let's call it 11 for the first down with the ball at the 45-yard line of the Buccaneers. Tampa Bay is still looking for its first first down of the ball game. Hitler! is buried by Brundage back at the 34. And that's what uh, Butts and Brundage were alternated when uh, when Butts was healthy and Butts played on the first couple of downs and Brundage would come in. Brundage would come in to uh, to rush the passer and uh, he shows that he is a good pass rusher with that sack there. Edberg is 0 for 2. That's the first time he's been sacked. And now the Buccaneers are faced with a third down and 21 from their 35. Edberg again with a big rush. There's another fumble. This is the ball. Dennis Johnson trying to fall on it. Who's got it? Uh, Tampa Bay recovered at the 26. See, that's something that uh, coaches will teach their defensive linemen not to ever do when they're in a crowd, not to step and pick up the ball. He had jumped on it immediately. Washington would have had a great field position right there. Yeah, I imagine Mr. Dyron Talbot got in there on that play and uh, caused a fumble. Dennis Johnson was the first one over there. Brundage was there, but the Miami man came up with that uh, recovery. All right, back to punt once again. Dave Green, snap is low. Again, gets it away. A little bit shorter this time. Brown at his 38, 40, 45, oh my 50, good. and out of bounds at the 41-yard line of the Buccaneers and again the Redskins come up with excellent field position. I'll take another look at that fumble here and I imagine uh, Dennis Johnson when he looks at the films with the coaches on Monday is going to get a little talking to you about falling on fumbles. Right. Don's a good old Texas boy. He got in on that play and caused that fumble and uh, Dennis Johnson number 61 was the first one over there. He falls on it immediately. They may have that ball right there. But as it is uh, Tampa recovers the ball. First and ten for the Redskins at the 43-yard line of Tampa Bay. Going to the ground again with Riggins making the handoff inside the 40 to about the 38-yard line. They got Calvin Hill in there now in place of uh, Mike Thomas. And this is what I've said. They never did this before in uh, shoveling those backs in early in the game like this. Second down seven for the Redskins at the 39 yard line of Tampa Bay a little over three minutes left to play in the opening period and the Redskins leading at 10 nothing Taylor to the left side set inside of him is Frank Grant Kilmer to Calvin Hill and Hill loses the ball at the 30 yard line and this one goes to the Buccaneers fumble again Tampa Bay wind, wind up with the football twice and on each occasion, I believe it was number 56, Cecil Johnson, who came up with the ball. Calvin makes a good move here and a good cut up field. He got hit and it hit right on the ball and knocked it loose. And this is a big break for Tampa right now. So Tampa gets the ball and Tampa has come up with a new quarterback. They decided to go with the veteran Gary Huff at the 28 yard line in their own end of the field. Huff uh, operating with a Joe Namath type knee brace gives to Anthony Davis and Davis Fumble. loses the ball. Who's got it this time? How many of you? Redskins get it back at the 42. I guess I guess that humidity is causing uh, the ball players to perspire a lot and that ball must be get awfully slippery and that is that does happen an awful lot when it's uh, hot and humid. 
Looked like Brundage on the bottom of that pile, and so the Redskins get it back at the 41-yard line. Nothing but frustration for the Tampa Bay offense. With these kind of mistakes, uh, you've got the, uh, it could be in Tampa's favor if this happens all day long, but if they don't take advantage of it, keep coughing the ball right back up. Washington just might slip by you. Kilmer, three out of three for 51 yards here in the opening period. Riggins jammed at the line of scrimmage. 76 is Dave Pair, and he led the defensive charge. Something to look forward to on CBS tomorrow night. Monday is out of this world as Logan's Run moves into a new time slot. That's a show that's a lot like Star Wars. If you like that, I think you'll like Logan's Run. Tomorrow at 8, 7 Central and Mountain Time on CBS. A Tampa uh, defense is still impressive. Even after the touchdown, they still look like a good football team. Well, you got to get discouraged. I mean, I would if I was the defense because the offense doesn't do anything. Second and ten. Redskins from the Tampa 41. Kilmer gets it away, intended for Grant, and almost picked off. Good defense by Mark Cotney, number 33 of the Tampa Bay secondary. That was a great defensive play because if Frank gets that ball coming across the middle, it could be all the way. Billy does a great job here of stepping up into the pocket there because he almost got sacked. Great defensive play. That's his first misfire of the afternoon. He's three out of four. Redskins third and ten. Frank Rand is the big play man for Washington in the passing uh, situation. That's one reason you're up here, right? That's definitely one of the reasons I'm up here. <laughs> Gilmer. Boy, he's waiting forever, and finally Selman gets him, but a marker is thrown on the play and it was thrown right around the pocket which normally would indicate holding looks like there may there's a sack plus there's a holding penalty see if we can see something here on the replay they held him out a long time but you don't keep selman out that long Ball is holding against the Redskins and going to be declined because it puts the Redskins into a punting situation. That Tampa defense keeps playing football like this here. This is going to be a very interesting game coming coming into the, the latter part of this game. Mike Bragg ready to punt. Bragg averaging 37.3 on the year coming into this game. Aims Bragg. it for the near sideline. Coffin corner. Reese. Watches it go out of bounds at about the 10 yard line. Pretty good kick. Bragg is going to mark good. it at the nine. A lot more action in store for you on CBS next Sunday afternoon. We got another doubleheader. Regional contest started off. You've got some good games Atlanta against Buffalo, Green Bay versus Detroit, and St. Louis at Philadelphia. Also, San Francisco against the Giants and Chicago at Minnesota. Those are all early games. Now, depending on where you happen to be, the late games are going to be interesting too. Washington. The Redskins and the Cowboys in their annual battle at Texas Stadium. And the other two games as well. New Orleans and Los Angeles and Tampa Bay at Seattle, depending on where you happen to be. Ed Williams on the carry across the 15 out to the 17 yard line of the fans of Ford since he hung on to the football. I tell you, that's been a uh, that's one of the reasons why I think Dave uh, Dave Butts was playing in there. I don't know if Brundage was the cause of that, but that's right over that uh, defensive tackle slot there where he gained that yardage. A minute 25 left to play in the opening period. Gary Huff obtained in the offseason from the Chicago Bears at quarterback. Here's Davis. Oh, he's an exciting runner. Even on a three yard gain, he picked up enough for the first down. If everything's in order, and Tampa Bay has its first, first down of the afternoon. Look at him. Anthony Davis is just a super exciting runner. He looked like he's run for 20 yards already the way he's run that ball just now. And of course, uh, all of those Southern California fans remember him when he was in college. One of the greatest that ever came out. First and 10 for the Buccaneers at their 21 yard line. Huff back in the pocket. Let's oh, fly along. Intended for Owens. 
The Tampa Bay bench is calling for interference, but they don't get the call. That was very close there. Uh, Gerard Williams uh, was covering on that play, and it uh, it could have been a, a holding penalty, interference penalty there. But it's a technique being used here that uh, Pat Fisher uses a lot. And all he does is try to cut off the, the man. But Gerard got behind him and stuck a hand in there. It looked like he touched him before the ball got there. Second and 10 for the Bucks at their 21 yard line. On the delay. No running room for Davis. Hanberger was in there quickly, so was Brundage. And Davis is nailed behind the line for a loss of a couple of yards on the play. It'll be third down and 12. You know, Anthony Davis is uh, an exciting looking runner, but he just doesn't seem to have that same quickness or the acceleration that he had when he was in college. I don't know if it's just I haven't seen him enough, but it looks like he's lost some quickness. There's the gun. And that is the end of the first quarter with the score. The Washington Redskins 10 and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers nothing. Should have bought Mobile One. The oil it saves you gas, you know. Should have bought Mobile One helps you start at 35 below. Should have bought Mobile One and the temperature hits 500. You're cool. Should have bought Mobile One. You only change it every 15,000 miles. Mobile One, the oil that does it all. Take it from an expert. Panasonic invites you to take a picture of a voice with a Panasonic cassette tape recorder. Things was a lot different than it is now. All with built-in mics. Some with built-in radios. There are pocket models. Should last another 50 years. And even some that record in stereo. Say something. Come on, speak something. So take a picture of a voice with Panasonic. Say something, bark. Welcome back to Tampa Bay. Temperature near 90 degrees. It is a very warm afternoon. Interesting to see how that affects the Redskins in the second half. By the way, at halftime, we have uh, videotaped conversations with both coaches, George Allen and John McKay. We did it prior to the game, and I think you'll be interested in some of the things they have to say about their philosophy of building a team and all. Here's Huff on third down, 12. Not Almost quite. Almost a great catch, but not quite by number 82 is Gary Butler. Butler just joined the club this week, former Kansas City tight end. And when uh, the two Kansas City, or rather the two Tampa Bay tight ends, went down with injuries, Novak and Moore, they added another one. They're also playing uh, Dana Napsiger, who's a free agent rookie at that position. And Betty Brown, who was the nickel man on that uh, defense there, hadn't fell down. He could have had an opportunity of intercepting that ball. Green to punt, and the Redskins have 10 men on the line of scrimmage, but they're playing return all the way. Kick is a little bit short. Brown waits at the 50. Steps forward to the 45, and that's it. I tell you, if that ball had been kicked in the middle, he'd have had a great return on that left side. But it was kicked away from where they were returning the ball, and Eddie made the, the most of it in the yardage he gained. And yeah, we told you Bradshaw was taken to the hospital in Houston to check on a rib injury in the Pittsburgh Houston game. Now they tell us Pastorini has left that game with an injured ankle. So both starting quarterbacks are out. Last report we had uh, Houston leading 17 to 10 with about uh, well still the third period. San Diego leads New Orleans 14 to nothing. We'll get the penalty call here from Cal Lepore. You know. So the Buccaneers 
wound up with one of the interior men leaving before the ball was punted. Redskins refused the penalty, feeling they got pretty good field position here, so they'll put it in play with the first down at the Tampa Bay 45-yard line. Calvin Hill to the 41-yard line, a pickup of four. It'll be second down six. Calvin is really getting off that ball quick, you know, and I think it's uh, indicative of him being uh, accustomed to this offense because that's not the kind of uh, ball he played in Dallas because they had a strong offensive line. They seemed to, to flow, you know, and they overpower people. Here they block out, they jump out there quick, and they, their holes open quick. They've got to get to the line very quick. What he's doing is getting warmed up for the Cowboys next week <laughs> and of a homecoming. Gilmer again handing off to Hill. Great. And this time, Calvin right. is shoved back after maybe a yard to the 40-yard line. Tampa Bay defense led by Cecil Johnson, 56. Look at this. This is a, a simple off-tackle play, and Calvin back to his old jumping through the line, and that linebacker caught him in mid-stride. Just a great defensive play on this part. McKay is very happy with the linebacking through the year. Uh, they consider this is the youngest team in the National Football League. They average under 24 years of age and less than three years experience. Redskins average almost seven years of experience per man. Try to get it out to Hill. Pretty good rush that time put on by David Lewis. Number 57. Well, he had a, he had a great rush on him. Billy, this is a quick screen to Calvin Hill, and he... He threw it before he wanted to because of number 57 getting in there on him real quick. Lewis, <laughs> number 57, is the second-round draft choice of the Bucks this year, and he's from Southern Cal. But Dewey Selman was sitting there waiting for him had he caught it anyway. The Bucks' defense is just playing great. Mike Bragg to do the punting. Higgins is deep along with Reese. Angling for the near sideline away from Higgins. Bounces inside the 10. Reese. Picks it up at the five, and he is buried at that point. Now, well, that's one of those in-betweeners. The coaches say you're not supposed to catch him inside the 10-yard line, and that thing hit right about at the 10, and so I'm sure there was a little bit of indecision there. Well, they couldn't catch it in the air because it was too short, and he wanted to keep it from getting any closer. So, a timeout of the field with 12 minutes, 41 seconds left to play in the first half. Redskins lead it, and nothing. Inside this new Firestone radial tire is an improved steel cord with five million miles of developmental testing. Where once we used five strands, we now use ten strands of steel. Seven, around two, wrapped by one. A cord construction so important, Firestone named the tire for it. Seven, two, one. The new steel-belted radial 721. Now, from Firestone. Charlie, it was cold last night. You put in a Preston in the freeze? Preston, Preston. Who needs Preston? <laughs> Preston, Preston. You need Preston. If your antifreeze is worn out or you don't have enough, you could be in trouble. So put in a fresh fill of Preston, too, to prevent corrosion and freeze ups. Preston, Preston. We need Preston. Preston, Preston. You need Preston. <laughs> Coming up for you on the CBS Sports Spectacular next weekend, three great events. The Jockey Club Gold Cup, that'll be from Belmont, the Chinichi Cup, one of the world's great gymnastic competitions, and the world's strongest men category. I think you'll enjoy it very much. That's on the CBS Sports Spectacular next Saturday, 4.30 Eastern Time. Uh, the Buccaneers in very poor field position back at their five-yard line as Huff hands off to Williams. He gets it out to the seven, and Dennis Johnson wraps him up in short order. Well, you're right about those specialty teams. They're, they're giving Washington excellent field position when they get the football. On the other hand, they're saddling Tampa Bay with the field position like this. That's true, and I think uh, that's the only thing that's saving Washington right now because they're making mistakes. They're not really moving a ball that well on offense. Uh, plus, uh, the defense of Tampa is just throttling. Second down, eight. Up. Staying on the ground, gives it again to Williams. Williams spent a couple of years in Cincinnati and was picked up on waivers.
by the Buccaneers at the start of last season. One of their more consistent runners during the course of last season, but not an outstanding football player. They're just waiting for that Ricky Bell to get back. Uh, he's got that bruised shoulder, and I don't even think he's suited out today. He didn't. He's on the inactive list. Third down and five needed for the first down. Three wide receivers in there now. Owens, McKay, and Higgins. And Jimmy Dubois has come in at a running back position. Third and five from the 10-yard line. Great play by the old pro. Jimmy Dubos trying to get loose around the right side, tripped up behind the line of scrimmage. And the old Redskins defense did its job. That was Ron McDowell, number 79, playing off of the offensive tackles block and making that tackle there. And uh, year in and year out, you just wonder where he gets it from. He's 38 years old. He had an interception last, uh, last week against St. Louis. He's had 10 interceptions in his career. See if the Redskins go for the block here. They've got 10 men on the line of scrimmage. Green standing four yards deep in the end zone. And again, they fade back and they'll play a return. The kick's a little bit short. Bounces at the Tampa Bay 40. Takes a Tampa Bay hop into Redskin territory and will be down at the 39-yard line. Boy, he got some kind of roll out of that. That's where this hit came in good. Just like playing golf. That's a 50-yard punt from what looked like it was going to be a 30-yard punt. Once again, time out on the field with the Redskins leading 10 nothing. We'll be back in just a moment. Hey, Schlitz wants you to have a ball. Pass the word, pass the word. Hey, now's the time to pick up plenty of Schlitz. Pass the word, pass the word, pass the word. Because the Schlitz football offer is here. Look for this display at participating stores and save up to $5 on an official Wilson football. Come on. Pick up Schlitz and have a ball. Pass the word, pass the word, pass the Schlitz. In stage one of my life, I couldn't stand dull wheels. I'm the same in stage two with my new 78 Ford LTD2, the trimmer sportier LTD at a trimmer price. The LTD of mid-size cars. If you're a sporty guy who appreciates the finer things in life, welcome to stage two. Isn't it you in an LTD2? You'll never know till you try. Welcome to LTD2. A better idea from Ford. Will you take off your clothes? What? You heard her. They're TV's <laughs> freshest new comedy team, On Our Own, premiering tonight following Rhoda. I used to be a nice girl. Well, we had a penalty marker down in that punch you saw a moment ago. It was against Tampa Bay for a receiver down the field too quickly, so they backed the Bucks up. They did it again, kicked another fine deep kick, and they have just been penalized again. So the Redskins now are going to force him back to the two-yard line, half the distance to the goal. These are the kind of mistakes that Tampa Bay cannot afford to be making against uh, Washington. They get in good field position here. Billy will probably put the air right away and try and put another seven points on the board. Illegal motion is the indication given by the referee Cal Lepore, and now Green is backed up against his end line. He has got off a couple of 50-yard kicks, which have been nullified. I don't think they'll try and block it uh, this time either. They'll probably have a return on. That's it. Redskins fading back for the return again. A beautiful punt. Eddie Brown at too. the 50-yard line, looking for some running room, and he is hit at the 46 of the Buccaneers. That was great coverage. So the Redskins take over. First and 10 at their 46-yard line. Number 52 uh, made a great play on that. Had he gotten by him at all, it would have been a long return. Cardinals are leading the Cowboys 10-3. With four seconds left to play in the first period, St. Louis just got a 62-yard run from Terry Metcalf. Our score, 10-0, Redskins, for early in the second period. Nice fake by Kilmer, gets it out to Charlie Taylor, and Charlie picks up enough for the first down at the 35-yard line of Tampa Bay. This is a quick screen right here, and all Billy does is step back, get that ball out there. The Offensive tackle didn't get out there to block for him going upfield, but Charlie just on his own just ran it up there and got a first down. Got about 12 yards on that play. Maybe a couple of more 
scores. Baltimore has now jumped ahead of Miami 45 to 28. They were once down 28 to 10 in that game, and Burt Jones has thrown four touchdown passes. First and 10, Redskins at the 36-yard line of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Hill and Riggins are the setbacks. It's John Riggins who's upended as he crosses the line of scrimmage, picks up three to the 32-yard line. Mark Cotney, number 32, rather number 33, made the stop. A well, strong safety play, made a good play there. He faked like he was going to blitz, and he went back into his pass coverage and then came up and made the tackle because Riggins got through there cleanly. Had he not been there, Riggins could have been long gone. Of course, you know, he ran 53 yards with a pass uh, last week against St. Louis. Second down, seven. Redskins at the buck, 32. Calvin Hill caught from behind by number 61, Dewey Selman. Selman, boys. That was just a great play on, uh, on Selman's part. He just ran him down from behind. He could not have been blocked at all. But I tell you, it didn't look like it was anything open over there anyway. That, that Tampa, that Tampa defense is just playing great football. Unbelievable defense. Third down, seven. Redskins at the 33-yard line of the Buccaneers. Washington leading 10-0. Kilmer out to Riggins. Johnson misses him. He's inside the 30 and out of bounds at the 25. But that, well, let's see. It's going to be very close for the first down. I think he's got enough. Yeah, John Riggins is a... People don't realize how fast he is. I think this here just points out the fact that John Riggins at 220, 25 pounds is a speedy back to be so big besides being powerful. Took a pretty good shot from Dewey Selman at the 24-yard line, but he's got the first down. Denver leads Kansas City 13-0 in the second period. Cincinnati 17, Green Bay 7. That's in the fourth period. And San Diego has beaten New Orleans 14-0. That's a final. First down, Redskins at the 24. Reagan's run down at the line of scrimmage on the far side again Dewey Selman who is making his presence felt. I think it's going to be quite repetitive uh, mentioning uh, Selman all day long. This kid is unbelievable. He's made great plays time and time again out there. We'll have a complete recap of all the scores for you all the finals and everything else at halftime. So be sure and stay tuned for that right now. Eight minutes and 20 seconds remaining in the second period of play. Redskins leading 10 nothing. Second down, 11. Washington at the Tampa Bay, 26. Calvin Hill to the 19. Richard Wood, number 54, making the stop. There was a quick draw that time. Louis Selman, the outside linebacker there, he's being blocked on by, by Ron Saul, but he just shucks Ron Saul right off comes over gets in on the tackle there on Calvin Hill official spotted at the 20 so call it third down and the Redskins need a long six for the first down Hill is now carried six times for 14 yards again the swing pass to Hill this time he's at the 20 at the 15 and out of bounds he did a great tightrope job down the sidelines, and he just might have gotten that first down. It's going to be awfully close. This is another screen pass. This is something that Washington's thrown at least four of them so far this game, and they throw very few screens. Now, why and look at him go down that sideline? Why is that, Roy? Why do you think? For some reason, we just, you know, it's been unsuccessful in throwing them, so they stay away from them. But that's something that, you know, is always a must when a season starts. Well, what are they seeing now, do you think, in Tampa Bay's defense that enables them to throw the screen? They're seeing a, a, a pass rush, you know, the pass rush of the defensive ends and the linebackers in Billy's face every time. And they're going to try and get, throw screens and draws uh, to, to gain some yards. First down from the 13-yard line of Tampa Bay. Riggins gets it to the 10. That's Leroy Selman, number 63. That defensive pass for us has been so effective. Look at Leroy Selman there. 
He cannot be blocked. This is what John McKay said. Last week, uh, he was even tackled half the time, I understand. Well, I imagine he's seeing a lot of double teaming, as you, as you might well imagine. Second down, six for the first down, 10 for the touchdown. Redskins from the 10. Hill loses the ball. Ball is free and captured in the end zone for the touchback by Mike Washington, number 40, the Tampa Bay defensive back. So the Bucks will get it out at the 20-yard line as Hill fumbles it into the end zone. Well, this Tampa defense is just unbelievable. Calvin Hill makes a cut up inside there and gets hit, and he fumbles the ball into the end zone. Had 84 recovered it, which he didn't, of course. It could have been a touchdown. But number 40 recovered that ball, and Tampa Bay has it going back the other way. Mike Washington. Another of the youngsters and John McKay secondary. And as Roy pointed out, they're playing super defense, even though they trail 10-0. 